Hello, thank you, Your Excellency, to be here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we, today, we celebrated the success of the launch of Ariane 5 mission BA-247 that's carry the geostationary satellite SGS-1 uh, with a successfully separated uh, today. Uh, SGS-1 is a satellite, is a national satellite provides secure communication for the government of Saudi Arabia. CAX is honored to, be, to provide the satellite in the name of Saudi Arabia thanks to the support of the custodian of the Holy Mosque, King Salman, and the overseeing of the Crown Prince, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who visited a Lockheed Martin facility and wrote the last uh, piece on the uh, spacecraft, uh, the precious word, above the high skies. SGS-1, a satellite comes out of the cooperation between CACS and Arabsat to build, to contract Lockheed Martin to build two geostationary satellites in 2015. We, in this program, we work together between Arabsat and CACS and Halasat to work and uh, uh, manage the program. I'd like to thank uh, Arabsat uh, CEO, uh, Mr. Khaled Belkhyur, and CTO, Mr. Zahani, Majd Ranizi, and Hamad Raheli, and Ali Fatansi, who helped us greatly on this lunch campaign. And I'd like to thank Mr. Butubapas and Ken and the rest of Halasat team. Uh, I would like to thank our CACS and Technia team, Mr. Uh, Mesha Anizi, Bandar Al Qasim, General Asaymi, and Majid Al Mushari, who I work with in four and five missions. Uh, also, we partner with our end user and uh, our clients uh, on the secure communication services and uh, for the military. Our end user are actively involved with the program, and I thank uh, General Al Garni, Dr. Al Harbi, and Dr. Al-Hakami to be with us today. Uh, I would like also to extend my uh, gratitude to Lockheed Martin, who worked hardly in this program and delivered a state-of-the-art spacecraft. And we, what they do did is highly appreciated. And we had a very smooth launch campaign uh, thanks to the hard work that Arian Spass and their colleagues but on this uh, launch campaign, I know that uh, uh, it's, it's quite a lot of people work on that, and I cannot name a single one. I know that is uh, an activities that uh, every time, like you need to work in, on challenges, and uh, this is the uh, level of services that uh, Rian Space uh, deliver and promise everybody, and they are the best launcher. Thank you. From my side, uh, as Hellas, uh, representing the Hellasat, I would like to thank the Greek and Cypriot government for their generous support. I would like to thank the Minister of Transport of Cyprus and the Secretary General of Telecommunications and Post of Greece for their presence in this very special moment and special moments of our company in Guru. I would like also to thank uh, Minister Nikos Papas for their personal support to Hellasat project. I would like also to thank the chairman, the members of the board of directors of Arabsat and the management of Arabsat uh, for their general support. Uh, my, our chairman, uh, Dr. Omar Alaida, and the board of directors of Hellasat for their support to this project and for their general support also to the management of Hellasat. Um, I would like also to thank um, the Board of Directors and the management of CACTS, and especially uh, he, the former uh, president of CACTS, uh, Chris, uh, Dr. Turki, and also the Board of Directors and management of Tacnia Space, uh, General Abdullah Halosami, for their uh, very, very harmonic cooperation we had until now, and we, we expect to have for the next 23 years of operations of the joint satellite. I would like also to thank uh, Mr. Roussel for the special, uh, for the first, uh, and congratulate for the first uh, successful launch of year 2019, and my friend uh, Stefan Israel and his team for this uh, excellent job. 
and also Guy and the team of Lockheed Martin. Uh, give my regards to Lisa, my friend Lisa in uh, Denver, and also regards to the team, the joint team of uh, engineers in Denver who took over the satellite right now. And also, uh, I have to pay our tribute to the engineering team, the joint engineering team of uh, Hellasat, Arabsat, and CACTS, who worked together for four years to, for this very special project and then deliver with Lockheed Martin a state-of-the-art and, and a very innovative spacecraft in space. Now, uh, in my capacity as uh, chairman of the Hellenic Space Agency, uh, I would like to welcome the establishment of uh, the Saudi uh, Space Agency in Saudi Arabia and congratulate His uh, uh, Royal Highness, uh, Prince Sultan bin Salman, for his nomination as chairman of the, of the Saudi Space Agency. Thank you very much, and we will be in touch for the next 23 years. Thank you. Thank you, I'm Guy Butelsheez with Lockheed Martin. What a day, what a day, what a day. What a fantastic launch. Uh, we are so excited to be off to this fantastic start. So first off, I wanna thank ESA, I wanna thank Kness, I wanna thank Ariana Space, and I especially wanna thank all the employees who made this day possible, um, all of their hard work, uh, and it is uh, such a delight to be here finally uh, and, uh, and ready to start our mission uh, and uh, move forward to supporting our customer. This is a very big day for Lockheed Martin. This is our first LM-21 uh, launch. Um, this is our new uh, upgraded uh, communication satellite platform and uh, carries a variety of technologies which make this the largest and most powerful commercial communication satellite that we've ever built for our customers. And we're very excited to be delivering that to them. Um, and so I wanna also thank all of the engineers both at Lockheed Martin and our customer and their contractors and everybody who's been part of this four-year journey to get the spacecraft built, designed, tested, and delivered. Um, and then I also want to uh, uh, thank our customers for allowing us to be part of their team. Um, so for CAXT, for TACNIA, for Arabsat, and for Helisat, very excited to be part of your journey um, and I especially am uh, gratified because this just really reinforces the very strong relationship that we have with Saudi Arabia, with Greece, and with Cyprus. And so we uh, still have a long night ahead for us. Um, so the launch vehicle's job is done, but uh, we are going to be acquiring our spacecraft uh, and then uh, starting to get health and telemetry, configuring it, deploying our solar arrays, and uh, doing a variety of tasks to get it ready to move out to its orbital position and start its 23-year <laughs> service to our customers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Air in Space team, CAG and CNES team, Arabsat, HelloSat team, team Lockheed, dear colleagues from ISRO who are stationed here, who are watching this program in India, and our fellow countrymen, good evening and good morning to all of you. I am immensely happy to convey congratulations to one and all from Dr. K. Sivan, Chairman ISRO, Secretary Department of Space for the successful launch. It gives me great pleasure on the successful launch of GSAT-31 spacecraft on board Ariane 5. This is the third mission for ISRO in 19, uh, 20, 2019. Congratulations to Ariane Space on the successful launch and precise injection of the satellite into the orbit. Congratulations to our co-passenger teams for their successful satellite launch. The relationship between ISRO and Arian Space is more than 50 years old. 
we started our relationship by launching the our apple in the year in one sometime in 1981 since then the relationship and bonding is going growing very strongly with mutual understanding and trust coming to french and indian relationship is very strong in science and technology area and cnes we have been working with them cnes for five decades and we had very many many successful projects which is served both the countries coming to gsat 31 which is a high power communication satellite which KU, with the ku band which is going to serve and replace some of the satellite which are getting lifetime getting expired soon it is going to serve the country in various aspects like communications to islands and uh, mainland in terms of uh, business in terms of dtg and many more and in fact i would like to congratulate our team members from isro who are slogged here for last 21 month and made this mission very very successful we had a very very cordial campaign with uh, arian space this time we have taken only 28 days for the campaign activity under the leadership of dr sivan who has been instructing us who has been guiding us and inspiring us to do the things at a very faster rate now i am happy to say to the video fin de la chronologie va 247 les moyens sont remis à disposition des adjoints satellite is in good conditions this moment marks joys of joys culmination of the successful launch campaign however i believe every end has got a new beginning we have got many launch vehicle and missions in our hand and soon we will be getting back to french guiana sometime in june july to launch g sat 30 at this juncture let me thank the arian space and all the contributing agencies for the wonderful support and wish them all the best thank you so uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, we have done the first arian of the year and uh, we will uh, deliver soon uh, for uh, another key customer for us for one web it will be with uh, soyuz the targeted uh, day for this launch is 22nd of february we will confirm it more formally in the coming days but this will be our second launch of the year and it will be uh, with uh, soyuz so now enjoy the evening and again again thanks to our customers thank you so much